A local soldier and army veteran suffers from PTSD. However, he finds a unique companionship shared with his dog, one that he says cures his pain. Corey Howard has the details. Come on, girl. Good girl, come on. Anthony Cephalou and his dog Stella share a close bond. Go get it, girl. I mean, the dogs, it's, they've never been in the same footsteps, but yet they, it, it's almost like they have been. <laughs> oh, man, you want to be sweet, huh? Cephalou served in the United States Army for 11 years, and after three deployments, Cephalou now suffers from PTSD. My neighbors have ranges, gun ranges in their backyards. They go out there, they shoot pistols, they shoot rifles um, for hunting season, things like that, shotguns. And I'm not expecting it, so when I hear it go off, it kind of sends me into a flashback mode. Overwhelmed with anxiety, so Seth Lou says these flashbacks cause his heart rate to increase and his breathing to become sporadic. And that's when his comfort dog, Stella, steps in. Well, Stella will, will sense that and she'll jump up and kind of comfort me um, in a sense where she gets scared from it also. So by me comforting her, it helps me and, and it brings me back to, to reality and to where I'm at currently. According to the VA, approximately 8% of the entire U.S. population suffers from PTSD. However, correlations show a higher rate for veterans, especially the ones that served during a time of war. David Long, a California native and ex-Marine, also suffered from PTSD. Earlier this month, Long killed 12 people at a bar in Thousand Oaks, California. However, Cephalou believes that man's best friend could ultimately help many veterans who suffer from the disorder. I know several veterans that have the service dogs and it's helped them out tremendously. It's like having a young, a young, young child again. <laughs> I, lo I love her. Corey Howard, Twin States News. All VA medical centers provide PTSD treatments. If you are a veteran, contact the VA to find out which programs are suited for you.